Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man Prime Time, and you already know you on Prime Time Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video. And you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. For prime time to this Oh man, let's go ahead and jump into this video, shall we? Man, oh man, how about boxing, boy? Wow, 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 wow. And, you know, I'm talking about the Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia situation. Boy, you know, ah, on one side, you got Ryan Garcia, who has beaten everyone. He said, fooled everyone. They thought he was crazy. He pulled all kinds of stunts. He faked the kidnapping. He, he pushed Devin Haney in the face off. He slandered Devin Haney in the media with rumors with P. Diddy and parties and this, that, and the third. He talked about Devin Haney's father and uh, Devin Haney. He showed himself smoking drinking, partying, calling out Errol Spence, telling Errol Spence he wanted to fight him for what he did to his trainer, Derek James. And, uh, you know, a other slew of interesting and questionable things and this was all to the lead up to the fight you know pretty much so you know, and some of it after the fight but the main thing is is that it all led to now discovering he had a banned substance in his system Austrian and this Austrian is a weight cutting type of thing to where it helps increases your muscles takes out fat yada 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 creates you more speed explosiveness yada 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 supposedly Then you, he goes through all of that and he's found, you know, tested positive for Austrian, awaits his sentence, gets his sentence, you know. Now, first, let me be clear. I truly believe that Ryan Garcia is necessary for boxing. I feel as though he's a star. He commands attention. He's witty. He's funny. He's entertaining. And I, I just think, you know, he is the total package when you look for a boxer. Now, the other part of it is, is that he's a wild card. He's unpredictable. He's very smart and savvy. <laughs> and he's wild and he's unpredictable. <laughs> and those are good qualities when, you know, you want to entertain people. But then there is a thin line between love and hate, isn't it? 
and a lot of media tactics he used and saying he was going to uncover, you know, people names, talking about child kidnapping and things of that nature, and yada, 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 so many other things. And I don't want to really cover. If you do, you can look in other videos and look that stuff up if you like. But um, the main part of this is, is that, you know, Ryan Garcia is one of the most controversial young rising boxing superstars today. And he garners the attention of the masses because he has a strong social media following and he uses his social media pages and outlets to his benefit. A lot of fighters don't do that. A lot of fighters don't know how to do that. A lot of fighters are not as charismatic as Ryan Garcia is, so they won't do that. Some fighters come out of the shell eventually. Some fighters don't. Some fighters become a star. Some fighters won't. That's just a boring thing. You can have 3,000 fighters, and you can probably only find three out of that 3,000 that's legit stars. You get what I'm saying? That's how big and broad the news is. So though we have a lot of fighters in boxing today, there are only a few boxers that garner that type of attention that that let me let me give it to you an easier way for people that don't understand they're the type fighter that desires to be in front of the camera on and off the camera in and out the ring they love the attention and when put in the bright lights they perform over it overachieving whatever we imagine they would achieve and at the end of that match you know what they're doing they're giving the best stellar interview ever that's a star that's a star but see you know when i say thin line between love and hate is it's because it's a thin line between a fighter and a crazy fighter <laughs> even though you have to be a little crazy to be a fighter it's a thin line between being too crazy you know because you know we know how it go you know? start with a little start ending with a lot you know so it's like I, I just truly, you know, I truly like a lot of boxers like, you know, Ryan Garcia, Devin, you know, Shakur, Javante, um, Teofimo Lopez. I like all those guys. Pitbull, Roland Romero. I like all those guys. Why do I have to just choose one? Huh? So, I don't reason why I like all those fighters and I like more fighters than that is because they are necessary. They're, it's like good versus evil. It's like hero versus villain. You know what I mean? And you want each fighter to be just as good to bring out the best of that fighter or bring out the best of each other. That's what you're looking for. You ain't looking for no daggone hand-me-down fight. You know, no fight you like, all right, here you go. Just watch this until we can get some money to get a bigger fight together, you know, but this is the best we can give you guys. Uh-uh, I, I don't want that anymore. I'm tired of those type fights. So now the other side of the coin is, is that you have Devin Haney that, you know, in a perfect world, he would be felt sorry for. He fought a guy that came in three pounds overweight that took a banned substance and beat him. And we don't know truly and honestly if that Austrian had some effect 
in hurting Devin Haney. We don't truly know that. We can't honestly say we know that. We're not in Ryan body and we're not in Devin Haney body. So let's get that clear. Now, the other part to Devin Haney's side of the coin is, is that, hey, he has the right to sue this guy because it has hurt his credibility. People that were waiting for him to lose, like the people that make crazy and bad comments, hateful comments, well, those are the ones that were waiting for his downfall. So therefore, if his downfall came by a banned substance, he has the right to sue that person that did that to him because they did it unfairly. Now, I don't know if Devin Haney is going to actually sue Ryan Garcia. He could just be doing the, the Deontay Wilder move, making an arbitration so that he could force him into giving him a guaranteed fight next. And that's what I truly believe is happening here. Is, is that Devin Haney is going to force Ryan Garcia into get, guaranteeing him to fight next and fight nobody else. They wait a year, they train. They do Olympic random um, drug testing, and it's an up and up, straight and narrow. It's on the weight of weight. It ain't no three pounds here, four pounds, it ain't none of that. It's all it's mono with mono, real professional boxing style. And it'll probably be at a bigger weight. It'll probably be at 144, 145. It'll probably be at a catch weight because if they do it at, you know, 47, you know, uh, you got boots and all them other guys looking, licking their chops. So, you know, I think they're going to hang around in a catch weight and make it comfortable for Ryan Garcia so he don't weight drain himself and comfortable for Devin Haney as well because we seen Devin Haney walk around. Weight is, woo, up there. So, um, anyway. With that being said, you know, I just wanted to show y'all both sides of the coin. You know, each man are hurting from this. You know what I mean? Ryan's mother, you know, and blessings to Henry Garcia's family, you know, Brother Sean, everybody in the Garcia's, you know, uh, definitely praying for his mom. Hope that she is well and all. And, you know, recovers perfectly, um, clear, and scot free of everything. So, you know, that's my thoughts to that. And, um, you know, I, I hope that Devin Haney gets back to 100%. I hope he gets back to his uh, championship mental ways. I hope he get clear for the doctors. And he can soon, you know, one day resume training and get back to the love of the sport that got him and afforded him and his father where they are right now in this world as if you know he chooses to continue to compete but um you know that's that's pretty much it that's my take on this stuff man you know i i, I, I like both fighters i care about both fighters i hope you know both fighters are healthy and well i hope you know um Ryan Garcia, you know, get someone that he can talk to that can actually help him, um, you know, channel things a lot more balanced and use his gifts and talents in a, you know, a more, uh, a more balanced way. That's the best way I can say it, you know, so, and uh, for Devin, you know, get some rest, man, heal up and enjoy life. And then, you know, then and only then, get back in the ring. So, anyway, with that being said, that's all I got for this video. You already know the routine when you leave my house. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV. And I'm on social media everywhere. Definitely go to the website, primetimetalktv.com and copy some merch. All right, y'all. Peace, love. I'm out till next time.